Hello there, my name is Luke Cameron, and today I'm going to be talking about a theory I've developed called Cog Theory. Now, Cog Theory... It's a weird one, and it's the widest theory I've come up with. So here's basically what Cog Theory is. Cog Theory is the theory that everyone in the world has a place, and they're a singular place that they can have, and that basically everyone, like, if we picture, for example, a watch, uh, if we open up a watch, we'll try to put up an image of a, inside of a watch here, uh, we can see that there's so many cogs and so many different, like, uh, shapes and, like, engranage, uh, I don't know how to say that in English, basically that play together and that together they form and the world and they make it turn well, or in this case, the watch. So I have just taken this theory of the watch and just placing it on the world and saying everyone is a specific cog except it's a huge machine, you know, one that we can only see if we really pull out backwards. And that's when we see, okay, this is what's happening. You're that person, you're that person. That's what your role is in life. Like, because you were in this place, you were able to inspire this person. You made this YouTube video, therefore this one person saw it, and then, guys, this is a ramble, but uh, I'm just going to take uh, sort of an example of where I got inspired of this. I mean, so there's this uh, movie called Three Idiots. Uh, it's an Indian movie, actually, and there's like these three guys in a classroom uh, trying to become engineers. One doesn't care to be an engineer, he's just there to learn. Uh, another guy, he's uh, learned to be an engineer, but his whole life he wants to be a photographer. So this is the guy that interests me. So his name is Farhan, and in the end of the movie, he becomes a photographer and then does amazing photos, because he's finally able to tell his dad, no, I'm not going to be an engineer. And if he had continued to be an engineer, following his dad dreams, so not his own, he would have been an engineer, probably not that passionate about uh, his job, would have seen it as a chore, and uh, when you're not really fully invested, you tend to make mistakes, you tend to just, you know, be a bit lazy, I don't know. In the end, he could have caused his happiness, he could have caused uh, sadness to his family, you know, all these things. Whereas, becoming a photographer, he's actually pursuing his passion, and he's finding his role, and maybe a photograph of his could inspire someone to... Think of, for example, cog theory. Who knows? Maybe this movie was meant for me to think of this. I, I have no idea. But the point is that if you're following everyone else's dreams, you're not gonna find your own place. So everyone's job is this: is to find your place in this world and be like, okay, who am I? And how? Like, what is my place in the world? So I am not saying I have found my place in this world. I think it's a life's journey. To actually discover this but it's a journey worth traveling it's not one to just uh, pick a degree out of a, a website you know um, it should be a, a life journey it's like the holy grail finding your your cog and the journey uh, so I used to refer to cog theory as the puzzle theory uh, so the fact that there is a puzzle uh, for example, a thousand piece puzzle that I have right here uh, and that everyone has their place and together they form this big picture. And while it's really accurate, it's so wildly inaccurate as well because that insinuates that there's a limit to the amount of pieces there is and that insinuates that, for example, let's say a corner piece represents a human, that human dies, you need a corner piece now, but it doesn't mean that someone comes that every piece is going to be constantly replaced. The point of the cog theory is that one is not some structured uh, thing, it's just a machine, nobody really knows the parts of the machine or anything, and maybe probably 2,000 years ago the machine was very different than today because every day new jobs are created and the old jobs die, and new um, scientists and uh, areas of study show up and like I don't know, it's a whole, it's a whole huge mix and not every piece is replaced, you know, like maybe 
this is how cog theory started, like this is the cog, and then afterwards it sort of spread out towards here, and maybe these cogs don't exist anymore, but there's a huge piece over here. Like, nobody probably understands what I'm saying right now, but that's why puzzle theory wasn't valid in my opinion. That's why a cog is that really, you have to find your own place and not look at the past, but look in the future and be like, okay, <clears throat> what am I gonna be needed for? And not even looking that much, that much that far in the future, just looking within yourself and being like, hey, what am I good at? Who am I? What interests me? And finding sort of a, a mix between that triangle of interest, uh, skills and, and identity, and then just triangulating it in and finding your place. All right, so that's basically cog theory. Um, everyone has their place in the world. Should have been much more condensed than this, but uh, this is a cog theory that I've been invested in for a while and exploring. A while back, I was questioning myself on if I had to make a tattoo, if I had to have a tattoo, what would it be? And I was trying to find something that would like make it about me and like some, a tattoo that would forever represent me, you know? And that's when I had the idea of like making a, I designed a specific tattoo, I might show it here. Uh, I'm not gonna get it in the end, but it was a really interesting journey to explore uh, a cog as my identity and figure out what, what is my cog, what is, uh, so yeah. If you want an explanation of this cog, and it's basically got Morse code and a bunch of stuff to represent my birthday and uh, other firm things like that. Anyways, I should really stop talking now. <laughs> Subscribe.